Chillos, 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 welcome back, welcome back people to Credit Corp, I am Toke, and this is my uh, review today on the HBO series that just fucking uh, begun um, last night, um, Sympathizer, so you know, episode one, obviously, um, this shit is, 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 is giving some promising vibes, I, I fuck, I fuck with the whole, the whole plot of it already, you know, Especially uh, Robert Downey's character, man. He he goes by this um, dude named Claude. That's a CIA agent, and he's already just um, he's already he's already being a hoop, bro. He's already on uh, some foolery. Um, I, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I can't wait to see him because I, I from the trailers or whatever the previews. He's you know he's a CIA agent, so he's playing like. He he got all these different disguises and shit. It's funny as fuck, bro. But the uh the main protagonist um is this communist agent by the name of Captain. And um this first episode is really just um, you know, settling in, um, you know, setting the tone for the rest of the series, um, just really uh describing his whole mindset and his personality and whatnot. Um, cause he's dealing with a lot, you know, um, on top of, you know, his own conscience, he's, he's, he's fucking, um, he, he's, he's, he's playing a lot of different roles, you know, he's fucking, um, in cahoots with, uh, obviously a communist party, um, people from, he's, he's got a, he's out of North, um, He's got a North Vietnam handler. He's got a South Vietnam handler. Um, you know, he's got a CIA handler, which is Claude. Like, this man, um, yeah, he, he's juggling a lot of different personalities right now. And it's, um, I, I feel like it's, it's really going to weigh on him so badly that um, he just ends up snapping at some point or not even, um, you know, not even wanting to deal with the shit anymore and just fucking, I don't even know, bro. Cause there was one scene in the, um, in like the middle of this episode when he was watching, uh, the North Vietnamese, um, that they, uh, um, held captive or whatnot, get interrogated and, um, fucking, um, fucking, he's, he's literally sitting there just, like, crying, he's, he's sitting there in his own mind, in his own mind, thinking about shit, you know, and you just see tears going down his eyes and whatnot, and the only reason they're really, the only reason, um, he's really there is to get the list, from uh, the list of uh, South Vietnamese secret agents to give to his fucking his uh, the North Vietnamese uh, or Vietnam handler, which is uh, his blood brother, man. You go by name, man. They really got some like uh, just like brief ass dog short names in this series. You know, Captain, General, Claude, Man, Bond, like. Uh, that shit, yeah, that shit's kind of hilarious to me, you know, um, but overall, like I said, the way this, um, first episode went, and the way it ended, oh my god, that shit was fucking nuts, bro, like, the big ass, um, bomb explosions, fucking, uh, guns, gunfires being shot and shit, like, there, so, Captain, he, he, he's, a uh, he's finessing this dude named the general or whatever, and, um, living with him, you know, just managing all his shit for him, he's pretty much like his, uh, his handler in a sense, his interpreter and all that shit, you know, um, the general lets him choose, um, fucking, who, um, you know, who, who boards the plane, who, who, who go, who gets on a board with the general on the plane, 
so they can uh, evacuate, you know, make their departure and whatnot. And um, he's choosing to choose. He's choosing to pick um, incompetent officers, you know, and uh, also managing to secure a seat for Bond, um, Bond's wife. And the newborn and whatnot. And like I said, all that shit backfires because they get attacked by um, bombs and shit and fucking gunshots going off. You know, they're trying to evacuate to the plane from the bus. And it was, it, it, like I said, the way that this first episode played it, court, played its course, I feel like it really set it. It's really set the tone and introduced you, um, you know, very well to the whole setting and the whole gist of things and how um, the rest of this C, uh, series is going to plan pan out and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, man, it's yeah, I feel like it's it's um it's only going to get better as the series just goes on and a lot of shit is going to open up. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to fucking intake into as far as, you know, with the whole Vietnam War and, um, them jumping back and forth, because there, there's like scenes where they'll show like, you know, a month, a month earlier or 10 days earlier, like they, they're good, they're going to do a lot of jumping around for like in this shit, um, as the series goes on as well. It was just fucking, it's lit, it's lit. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, man. Give me, give me more. Give me more. I'm gonna be waiting. Um, that's all I really got for you guys as far as this episode. My, uh, my recap on this whole episode. Um, like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking corp. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys uh thought about this first episode as well. And um, yeah, I'll be back with uh fucking more reviews, so stay tuned. Toodles.